You talk about how we're crypto fits? Well, I can't talk about Bitcoin because we have a filing with the SEC, so I'm prohibited. <clears throat> I can talk about crypto in general, and I can talk about what we have done. You know, we believe we have a responsibility to democratize investing. And we've done a great job, and, and the role of ETS in the world is, is transforming investing. And I think we're only at the beginning of that. I mean, we, we, we believe the fixed income market is going to become multiple trillion dollars in, in, in ETFs. Equities will continue. <clears throat> more and more of the market will be, will be delivered through an ETF platform. If you think about what was done 15, 20, no, 20 years ago now with the advent of a gold ETF, that really democratized gold investing. It brought down the cost of transaction for gold. I mean, the cost of transacting physical gold is absurd. And now with crypto, the idea of democratizing that role, the cost right now to transact uh, is quite expensive. We're talking points, not decimal points. And so that's a big point. Two, um, over the last five years, <clears throat> More and more our global investors are asking us about the role of crypto. And as I said, I do believe a lot of crypto is, is going to be, it's an international asset. It's going, it, is, um, it has a differentiating value versus other asset classes. But more importantly, because it's so international, it's going to transcend any one currency in currency valuation. If you just look at the value of of our dollar, how it depreciated last two, two months and how much it appreciated over the last five years. I mean, a international crypto product can really transcend that. And that's why we believe there's great opportunities. And that's why we're seeing more and more interest. And that interest is broad-based worldwide.